is a genius, a mental aberration. He's totally fixated on world domination. The local <laughs> island creatures are dull and obtuse. Huh? Until the what? evil doctor turns the shoes. What? He wants what? them for his troops. They come out How? in How? No, what? Most especially <coughs> cracks. What? What? I feel like what happened? What, what's going on? What's going on? Slow down! Slow down! Wait, what? Wait, what? What's going on? What? What do you mean, hearts in the right place? What? Wait, what? Crash Bandicoot! If Cortex isn't beaten, he'll rain a salute! Crash! Crash Bandicoot! Play our game and tell your friends so we'll make lots of loot! I think I've got something to say to that. I am NOT DOING THIS! Yay, the day's a day! Crash Bandicoot 4 has just been released! I have got my snacks, I have my beautiful PlayStation 4 just down here, and I have the new Crash Bandicoot 4 on PlayStation. Okay, you know what? I really didn't want to review that cartoon, but the job has got to be done. In case you're wondering, yes, what I just saw is actually real. How can I describe this whole thing? Well, think of Animaniacs. Then you suck. The charm, the wittiness, and the lovableness out of the entire thing, and you get this loud, obnoxious cartoon. And what's even weirder is that it has a really weird backstory to it. There's a guy named David Siller the one who uploaded the video onto YouTube. And he explained that this was actual animation test footage made by, and I'm not believing this, Universal Animation Studios. You might recognize them as the guys behind the sequels that probably nobody asked for. And in case you're wondering again, no, this wasn't a TV show pilot. No, 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 not by a long stretch. If anything, this was actually made during the development of the first game for PlayStation 1. Now, you might be wondering, well, if it's not a TV show pilot, what is it? Why has it been produced during the time of the game? Actually, I hate to tell you this, this was actually served as a cutscene. That's right, it was originally a cutscene as part of the game. And you know what's even weirder? A large majority of the game development team knew nothing of the cutscene's existence. I mean, how crazy is that? Basically, you just had some of the game development team who had no idea about this whole thing. In fact, a large majority of them probably didn't even know that this was even made. But the few people who have seen it said, no. You know, after seeing that cartoon, I could sort of see why they said no. David Siller actually explained that it was probably too ambitious in nature and was also trying to be humorous. Okay, that's putting it mildly. Another reason why it was rejected was because Sony, the guys behind PlayStation, wanted to focus on the 3D agenda and wanted to push it that way. Then the cartoon's existence, well, people forgot about it, I guess. People didn't talk about it. Until it resurfaced onto YouTube. You know, as much as I hate to say this, but I find this cartoon's existence kind of fascinating. I mean, I'm not saying that this cartoon is the best thing I've ever seen, but let's be honest here. This was actually made to try and get a feel for the game, to try and understand what the game would look like. I mean, this was technically an animation test after all, and maybe the publishers at the time didn't know what they wanted. And when they saw this, they said, no, it probably doesn't work. It may work as a cartoon series, but as a game, probably not. And I think it's for the better, quite honestly. 
Hello, this is Kate the Miku fan. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more of what I do, please subscribe to my channel. That would be so awesome for me if you give me support. And also, don't forget to give me a comment and a like down below. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to play the new Crush Bandicoot 4 game. That's it from me, and I shall see you next time.